Hey all dear sons, this is Brijesh Chaudhary, your quantum guru. Today I am going to take a very challenging problem of Pathfinder, current electricity, check your understanding, question number 5. It's indeed very challenging and also very complex. But unfortunately, answer given in Pathfinder is wrong. I will explain why. Some people might get the right answer by using some trickery of words. But here I am interested in how to attack this problem and uh, solve this kind of problem. And we'll also explain how by using some trickery of words we can get the answer given the pathfinder so this is a well-known cube network each edge contains a 24 ohm resistor and additional 12 ohm resistor along each phase diagonal and these resistors are only connected electrically at the corners of the cube for the sake of readability in the figure only some of these branches without the resistors are shown find equivalent resistance between two terminals connecting a phase diagonal the problem that we are facing in getting the answer is with this so but if we uh, take the words at its face value so they are saying that the resistors are only connected electrically at the corners of the cube so the phase resistor that are here they are connected through only the corners though there is a in the diagram there is a kind of intersection but physically they are not intersecting because it is written that these resistors are only connected electrically at the corners of the cube what do you mean by the electrically electrically connection electric connection though there may be a physical connection but no part of the current will go from like current of this resistor will not go to this resistor and this whole resistor we have to take 12 ohm this 12 ohm so uh, I will explain this by uh, some physical demonstration also and by the series of diagrams. First, let's try to understand physically. So this is a cube uh, and we have to find resistance between two phase diagonal. So let me name that. Suppose this is uh, uh, A and this is B. This is A and B. And the series of register along the edges all these resistors these are along the edges like this like this along the edges like this like this like this so these are the edge resistors and then there are resistors along the diagonals all these red color resistors uh i think i can show you this way all these uh, edge resistor have the resistance 24 ohm and there are the phase diagonals like this there's a phase diagonal all these phase diagonal there is a physical contact but electrically they are connected only through the quarter so this whole resistance is 12 ohm and so on this is also 12 ohm and like this here like this here like this here 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 so these all are 12 ohm each so i've done all this the problem is that uh, in making a diagram on the paper, uh, there is a problem on representation. So what I want to do, I have to find the resistance between these two. So I want to just put it this way. These are at the bottom. And if I look from the top, so I will look from the top. Uh, I will take the spatial uh, its view. So I can see this phase, this phase, this phase, this phase, this phase. I can see the five phase. And uh, there will be one more phase at the bottom. And the resistor of the bottom phase I will show with the dotted line. And all other phase I can see from the top view. And let's go to uh, the diagram that I've made. So for the uh, sake of readability, I don't want to write the resistance in the diagram. So red color line is a line of a 24 ohm. This is a, a light blue color line is a 12 ohm. And this is a purple color dotted line is a resistance of 12 ohm. So, now see. so this was the bottom. This was the bottom and we have to find the resistance between A and B. And if I just look from the top, this is the bottom and this is the top. So top phase, I am giving the top, uh, top view. So these are the edge resistors. So these all four and these all four. These are top view. And then there are these resistors connecting this. So like this. So all the edge resistors I have shown and then there are resistors in the phase diagonal uh, first of all let me take the resistor on the this bottom phase 
uh, whose two terminals are AB and we have to find resistance between A and B. So one terminal would be like this, one, one wire would be like this and one wire would be like this. These all red color wires have resistances 24 ohm. These are along the edges and the face diagonal have resistance 12 ohm. So in the bottom, there will be one face diagonal and one face diagonal and that I am showing with a purple color dotted line like this. These, these are the 12 ohm resistors. And then the these are the 1, 2, 3, 4 and this 5. The 5 other faces and we will have to uh, show the phase diagonals. So these are the phase diagonals of the 5 faces and all these resistors are all these resistors have the resistance 12 ohm. And if you see the very carefully, whole, you can think that I have compressed this 3D diagram into a 2D diagram. So this all the red color uh, resistors have 24 ohm, the blue color 12 ohm, and the purple color is 12 ohm. And you can see clearly that this line AB is the line of symmetry. This is a line of symmetry because all the, if you just see the on this side and on this side, elements are exactly mirror image of each other so this ab is the line of symmetry to find the resistance between a and b and this is the perpendicular to line of symmetry so this is the line of symmetry and this is perpendicular to line of symmetry like this and we know that all the points which are on the perpendicular to line of symmetry have at the same potential so if they are in the at the same potential so no current flows between them so we can remove these uh, we can remove these resistors so let's go to the next page so so because this wire this 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 and this these all lie on the perpendicular to line of symmetry so i can safely remove them one by one so now the diagram is become a bit simplified and now one more thing so you see uh, once again see the symmetry of this problem we have to find the current uh, we have to find the resistance between a and b so if i send some current from a uh, say the current i is being sent from a and that current leaves to the terminal b the same current will leave and see the symmetry of the problem uh, a part of the current suppose if the current goes x here so the same current will come out here and the same way if the current x goes here so the same current x will go here so it means that no part of the cur this current will go to this blue color wire so though there is a kind of a physical contact so for the sake of calculation you can just uh, keep it separate like this here like this and here also here also similarly again you see from here if this current is y the symmetry says this current is also y from here also if this current is y so this current is also y so no part of this current will go to this red color wire here also here also so you can just make it a little bit separated you can just uh, just separate it like this so this will go something like this and this will go something like this so now i am reducing this into the next page so this is a reduction of this so uh, now this is easily calculate this can be calculated it's the same diagram i have drawn here and just let me rotate this whole figure by 45 degree clockwise so this will become this now i will go to the next page and will calculate the equivalent resistance let's reduce this figure so now let me uh, reduce this these resistors between a and b start with this is a and this is b i will take resistors one by one so first of all let me take this resistor that is a 12 ohm the purple color was 12 ohm and that is between a and b so that resistor I have just shown here. 12 ohm. These two 24, 24, 48. And here also 48. So 248 in parallel. And 
this is 12 this is 12 12 and 12 is 24 and this is also 24 so 224 in parallel also so uh, let me take mark the register that i am taking so i have taken these two and now i am taking this 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 and this so 24 ohm 24 ohm and come to this this is 24 this is 24 and this is 12 24 ohm 24 ohm and 12 ohm so this 10 this 10 and this 10 and between these two you see this is 12 and 12 24 this is 12 and 12 24 parallel with this so here 24 ohm and this 24 ohm and this 24 and 24 48 and this 24 and 24 48 again in parallel so i have reduced all these things this is 48 ohm and 48 now it's simple thing to find the register so let's start so the outer elements this is 48 48 24 and 24 and 12 these all are in parallel so in the parallel the equivalent of this thing of the 24 and 20 uh, 48 and 48 24 and uh, 24 and 24 12 and all these are again in turn are in parallel so this 12 and this 12 would be 6 so 24 into 6 in parallel would be 24 into 6 divided by 24 plus 6 this is 30 so that is 5 so that is 24 by 5 and let me just call that r so now from here between a and b this is a and that is b here all these uh, this this all the tick mark register i have replaced with r one r and same look at here this is 24 this is 24 this is 48 this is 48 and this is 12 so all this thing are the same as these five so if their resultant is r so their resultant is also r so that is how much in place of that you just put r and this 24 and 24 are 48 i just want to see how many times 40 is of that r so if i divide that 48 and this r is 24 by 5 24 by 5 so that is how much uh, n so you can simply write this 48 ohm is 10 r so this is r so and uh, these two together will become how much 10 r And let me go to the next page so finally i have this is r and 10 r and here that is r and this is a and this is b so r a b r a b will become these are the parallel combination 11 r and r so 11 r by 12 r1 r2 upon r1 plus r2 you can apply and now put the value of r so the value of r putting r i had put in place of 24 by 5 so if i put the value of r 24 by 5 so that will be 2 so that would be how much 22 by 5 so 22 by 5 is how much that is a 4.4 ohm and that is what i am getting so uh, but the answer given and pathfinder is 7 and the method is absolutely uh, right uh, if you have any problem you can comment and if in place of all these resistors i have checked the answer you can also check here in place of this if you put 12 
in place of this you put 12 and this 12 and that 12 then you will get the answer 7 but that is against the words the words that is written here the 12 ohm resistors along each phase diagonal so this is a diagonal so along the diagonal the resistor is 12 so uh, if we take the words seriously whatever written if you follow the words so that should be 12 not this should be 12 so will not change this is a very good question will not change the wording just for the sake of getting answer so uh taking the words religiously that given in the question the answer will come out to be 4.4 and this is how we proceed this beautiful question thank you